philosophy about the golf swing and the golf game was born out of my career and the learning experience I had as a 15-year player on the PGA Tour, having won on the PGA Tour, having been a top 20 player in the world, and even contending for major championships. In an effort to try to get better, I went and sought some of the best teachers in the game. That didn't work too well. I actually had one teacher say to me, Bobby, your swing has more moving parts than an erector set. Another instructor once said, Bobby, if you just empty your mind, forget about everything, and start all over, you can be a good golfer. Sadly, I believed him, and I went through the long, enduring process of changing my swing style. and never cracked the top 80 on the PGA Tour money list ever again. Well, it led me to a broadcasting career, and I've enjoyed 20-plus years at CBS Sports. But one of the things that I've learned is swing style is not the best way to teach the game. If you really study the best players of the game, what they perform in impact is virtually the same. And thus was born my impact zone teaching system, which introduces five dynamics as to how do you can create impact like the best players of the game. This is something that not only I have implemented in my own swing, in my own game, in my own realization, but have taught my countless students and instructors, and we're seeing some phenomenal results. Because if you want to get better at golf, the golf ball doesn't know your style swing. Look at some of the best players of the game. Lee Trevino, in my opinion, was one of the top three ball strikers of all time. And certainly nobody's copying his golf swing. Today you have the likes of Jim Furyk or Bubba Watson, uh, Matt Kuchar, lots of different style golf swings that get the job done. But the common denominator is what they created impact. So if you want to improve your game, you've got to improve your impact first.